G'day. Continuing on on that discussion around differentials, I wanted to show you what makes a differential strong over a weaker design. Not that it's totally weak, but it is weaker. Now, if you look at this, this is my front differential. Aside from being only a small eight inch differential, look at this material in here. There's not a lot of it. Now, in a differential, everything is trying to do something that it shouldn't, doesn't want to do. The energies, the forces that we're putting into our, into our drive line, coming through the pinion gear, the last thing they want to do is do a 90 degree turn and go out to the wheels. So everything is fighting against what we're telling it to do and what we're forcing it to do. So there's a lot of forces involved in the centre, in the carrier of the differential. So in this dip, there's a whole heap of force just carried through that section of metal there. Now look at my rear differential. This is a locker. And all of that is filled in with tank. So what that means is that when I'm under power, my crown wheel is not trying to move away from the pinion. So the two of them stay correctly engaged. If they start to move away, then the tooth contact starts to move to the outside of the teeth, and then the teeth get to a weaker area, they break. And that's a lot of the reason that we strengthen our differentials up. We put a locker in so that we get that meat and that strength into here to hold the crown wheel solid so that it doesn't move away from the pinion. Now in the next video, we're gonna tell you how we strengthen the pinion gears. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails.